Well, time now for a look at the top stories of the past week. This is a bill that is more interested in protecting the interests of pharmaceutical companies than protecting people in our country that need to buy medication. The federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has rejected the first draft of the Liberals' Pharmacare legislation. The Liberals promised to table one by the end of the year as part of their supply and confidence deal. A group of NDP activists are planning to push at the party's convention next week for Pharmacare to be the make or break element of that deal. And CPAC will be on the ground for the convention in Hamilton to bring you the latest. History was made in Manitoba this week. NDP leader Wab Kanu elected to be Canada's first First Nations Provincial Premier. Manitoba did something more progressive than any of those big cities ever did. We elected a strong team of New Democrats to fix health care and make your life more affordable. Canoe says health care will be the main focus of his government. He's also making affordable housing and fixing homelessness priorities while also pledging to search the Prairie Green Landfill. Another historic first in Canadian politics, Liberal MP Greg Fergus becomes the country's first black speaker of the House of Commons. What I vow to work night and day to promote and advance can be summed up in one word, respect. Respect for each other, the way we treat each other, the way we talk to Canadians. In other words, this is all about decorum. Fergus has been the MP for Hall Elmer since 2015 and served as the Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. He succeeds former Speaker Anthony Rhoda, who resigned last week. Rhoda stepping down for honoring a Ukrainian veteran in the House of Commons, finding out later that the man was a member of a Nazi unit during the Second World War.